Welcome back. What's up? What's going on with you guys? Oh my gosh. Is this another book review or what? Uh. I'm sorry. I don't even know. Guys, it's like 9.50. Maybe it's 10 at this point, honestly. But um, I just went to breakfast with my family and now I'm just like on like a aw, like family fun. Like it was a good time. And now I'm just like happy. And so I'm just a little like goofy but like what am I not you know what I mean like I'm always kind of this way I recently read two thrillers and one of these I just read the other day and I just like I read it all in like one day and it was something different um and I want to talk about that one and also um another book that I read in December and I just figured I'd make like a little thriller like two thrillers that I recently read um because thrillers if you guys didn't know that's my absolute favorite genre um, nothing's too scary for me when it comes to like books and stuff like that like horror books and things like that Like I love it. So if you guys have any suggestions Please let me know because I just like love thrillers and I just like and horror and mystery and suspense and all that s stuff like it's literally my favorite thing in the whole entire universe and so I could go on and talk about it forever but instead I I'm going to tell you guys about these books that I just read. The first one that I'm going to talk to you guys about, because it was a little bit ago, and I kind of need a refresher. I'm going to read the back of the books as well. Um, but this one is 14 Ways to Die by Vincent Ralph. Um, I'm going to read the back of the book. My sister actually bought this book from Target. Or no, 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 lies. She bought it from Barnes & Nobles when I was buying some classics, I think, for class. And she was like, this looks good. And I think she read like the first like five pages and then she just just like, eh, I'll read it soon. And she's not like that much of a reader. So, um, but I just told her, I was like, yeah, you should definitely read it. Um, I love, I love me a good plot twist. I'm not gonna lie though. My favorite thriller that I've still read ever is The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. But I also, no, The Outsiders by Stephen King is more of like a horror, I guess. Mystery, horror mystery. That's a really good one. I'll have to review that sometime. That's probably one of my favorite books I've ever read. So good. Like, I don't know, something just hit different about it and it wasn't even like something that I would typically like. This was a great book and I'm going to read the back. You have to murder at least three people to be called a serial killer. The magpie man is looking for his 14th victim. When Jess was seven, her mother was murdered by the magpie man. She was the first of his victims, but not the last. Ten years later, the killer is still at large, and Jess applies to appear on an internet reality show in which she filmed once a week for a whole day. All her social media, every text, and all personal interaction will be seen by viewers. She knows this is her chance to remind the public of what she's lost and to finally find the vital clue that will lead her to her mother's killer. When the show starts airing, Jess becomes public property, and her life is an open book just waiting to be read. Then, the anonymous text messages start, and Jess begins to realize that the magpie man is watching her every move. Told in short, in tense chapters, Jess's story is about risking everything to uncover a killer before he can strike again, even if she might be his next victim. If that synopsis doesn't, like, sell you on the book, then I don't know, like, what's wrong with you. Like, if you don't like thrillers, okay, but if you do and you don't read that, like, what? Like, my sister picked a good one, okay? My sister picked this out. I didn't even pick this out. She just found it, and I was like, oh, yeah, like, I'll just read it, like, for fun over uh, winter break, and I did, and I read it in a day because they are short, intense chapters. There's, like... How many chapters in this book? 144 uh, chapters. First off, I'm gonna start with like one thing like that I just like about the book that just like didn't sit right with me is the name of the killer is Magpie Man. I don't know, like I know like that's like, like I get like why he's called that and you'll like kind of read the book and figure that out but it just doesn't sound scary and it just kind of was like, the magpie man like all I could think of was like 
my little bunny because my bunny's a magpie and like all I could think about is like the bunny killer <laughs> like it just didn't sit right with me and so I don't know like the name of the killer just wasn't scary and there's like things like Joyce Carol Oates for example like her um where did you come from where did you go like short story with like um Arnold Friend like that's different because his name is like Arnold Friend like you're supposed to think like he's all friendly and kind and then he's actually not but magpie man I don't know like that just like every time I'd hear like the magpie man like I'd just be like are yeah very scary that's really the only thing though I guess there were certain things about um this book that I feel like there was a couple like well this has been a while so I don't know but I I do think there was like a couple ties that were in this book that I just like we didn't see them like seal up um I can't remember what happened with Jamie you'll I'm not gonna like give away like who Jamie is I can't remember. I don't remember if they tied that up. I, I would think that they would, but um, there's like some just like really annoying characters in this book. And I feel like I point that out a lot in like my book reviews is I'm always saying how like annoying certain characters are. And I'm just like, oh, this person just really bothers me. And she does a great job of capturing that. Maybe I just like get annoyed really easily because literally every book, there's always someone who I'm just like, Dude, I literally, like, I don't want to hear from your character anymore. Like, if you could just stop, like, talking, like, that would be great. Um, but there were also some really likable characters, and I actually did like the narrator, um, or, you know, from the perspective of Jess. Um, she was amazing. I really liked her. Um, there were a couple things where I was just like, dude, you're stupid. But, like, we all make stupid decisions, so I think that's why, like, she was relatable. Um, I would probably give this, like, a four four stars four stars out of five because it wasn't like the like it just comparing it to like the last time i lied i don't know did i what did i even give that book because looking at that like i feel like i can't really give like a star review like like i feel like none of my like star reviews are finalized because i like i feel like there's just more like, I feel like I just needed to, like, figure, like, I need to, like, read other books and then go back and, like, rate. But initial impression would probably be, like, a four star because just other thrillers I've read just, like, really outshined um, this one. But not to say that this, this was definitely not a two star, one star thriller. Um, this is good. Like, this is, like, solid. Like, if you want to get into reading and you like thrilly, like, and you're like thrilly. If you want to get into reading and you like like, oh my gosh, can I speak English, please? If you want to get into reading and you like scary thriller, suspense, mystery, you get punched in the gut. Like literally pick this book up. Uh, I don't know where, just look around <laughs> to try to find it. It's pretty good. Um, So just try to, if you're like me and you think magpie is just kind of like, like cheesy and you're just like really like the magpie man like it just kind of like turns you off a little bit from like the scariness just try to overlook it i did and i really enjoyed it so that's my first book second one i actually bought this from the store literally just because of the title if you guys don't know i'm like if you're like new here or whatever i'm really close with my cousins and we are like best friends and inseparable basically um ever since like 2016. So 2017, 2016, that is not important. But I literally just bought it because of the title. I didn't look at the author. I didn't really even read the description until after it was in my like cart and I was walking around on Target. Um, I actually was at the store to buy um, the Atlas Six um, because I really wanted to read it because I've never read like Dark Academia, which I'm reading right now. It's back there on, you see the black book? That's the Atlas 6. I'm reading it um, currently, but I wanted to read this one first. I didn't see the author. Okay, before anyone like yells at me or is like, what is wrong with you? Like, I would just, people have preferences and honestly, I'm not the biggest Karen McManus fan. As you, you guys probably know what the book is now. It's called The Cousins by Karen um, and McManus. I'm not trying to say she's a bad author whatsoever because I think she is talented absolutely but 
her style and choices in her writing are not co I don't completely resonate with and I just I don't know something I don't I can't really figure out what it is but it's just not my favorite like I don't feel like super hooked a lot of people love her writing so that's not a diss to her whatsoever I'm sure she's like I know she's loved by so many people but I don't know something with her just never hit right um I did read one of us is lying and that's where I was I, I just kind of realized I was like eh. Everyone was kind of hyping it up. I don't know. Something about it. Just, I was not a fan. Like, it was it was okay. Um, I think something that's a little confusing is the multiple points of view. Um, she writes, like, chapters from a different point of view from each character, which I love, like, personally hearing points of view. But it's, like, two is kind of, like, the limit because I start to get people's, like, people mixed up. And then I start to, like, forget who said this. And then you end a chapter with, like, a cliffhanger with this person but then you have to go through like four more chapters just to get back to hear what that person was saying and it's like every time with someone and you are like wait what happened with them and then you have to go back and like figure it out I don't know like the way she write it like writes it the storyline flows but it's just it's a little it's a little like challenging to try to remember everything so I think that's one of the reasons why um her writing is not my favorite. There's some style choices too that I just can't figure out. Um, but I know a lot of people love her. I feel like so like weird. Like I've never like been like, oh, this author, like for some reason, just no. Like, however, I have to say, I feel like maybe I just have low expectations because I love thrillers so much and just like anything that's just like, oh, like that was a surprise is pretty cool. <laughs> and so I will say, this book was actually, it was pretty good. Um, I'd probably rate it like a 3.5 star, um, but not because of like the plot. Um, I'd probably rate it that just because of the points of view and also there was some like weird things like, there's a guy named Thomas, I'm not gonna like say any details, but like the guy named Thomas in this book, like was that really necessary? for the story, like that just felt like really random and weird. And then I really liked Aubrey. Aubrey was such a likable character and she didn't get the ending she deserved at all, I think. I think she deserved a lot better and she kind of got the short end of the stick and then we see the other two, how they ended and I was like, what? I'm like, what about Aubrey? Like you guys, okay. Like it just, and I'm not giving details away. I just personally, maybe you'll be like, oh, she had a great ending. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe you'll disagree with me, but I was just kind of like, I was left kind of like, oh, that's all for her? Like, that's sucky. Um, and so that kind of sucked. I don't know. There's certain things in like the plot that just, I wish there was more, I guess. Like I like needed more, um, but I'm gonna read the back of it to you guys, or the little synopsis. Millie, Aubrey, and Jonah's story are cousins, but they barely know each other, and they've never even met their grandmother. Rich and reclusive, she disinherited their parents before they were born. So when they each receive a letter inviting them to work at her island resort for the summer, they're surprised and curious. Their parents are unwavering on one point. Not going is not an option. This could be their chance to get back into grandmother's good graces. But when the cousins arrive on the island, it's immediately clear that she has different plans for them. And the longer they stay, the more they realize how mysterious and dark their family past is. The entire story family has secrets. Whatever pulled them apart years ago isn't over. And this summer, the cousins will learn everything if they can survive the season. So that is the cousins. Um, I will say, um, the the way, like, timing of this book and everything was pretty good. Um, there wasn't, like, Mark missed on timing. I felt like it flowed well. Um, I was able to figure out a lot of stuff, like, pretty fast. And I guess that kind of just, like, towards the end, I was like, oh, man, like, I already figured it out. So, it, like, wasn't a surprise. Like, I was like, dang, like, I wasn't like, whoa, I didn't see that coming. Like, I was like, oh, okay, like, I know what's going to happen. And then, like... 50 pages later, I was like, dun, dun, dun. I'm just like, well, I already knew that actually. So, <laughs> I don't know. Let me stop like saying my critic 
view and let me say some things I really liked about this book. The characters were honestly pretty great. Once in a while, like, the, the way that they started off, I was like, okay, like, they're all, they all kind of sound the same except for Aubrey. I was like, Billy, Jonah, um, even some of the parents, I was like, they kind of all sound like reserved and snobby and they don't know how to communicate. Um, it kind of changed as it went on though and um, they did develop like different voices. I do think Jonah's and Millie's were really similar in ways. They were both like stubborn and like, I don't know, like they, their voices were kind of similar, but a lot of uh, the characters in this book, like the parents and things like that, we got to hear their voice. Um, I feel like there wasn't certain closure on certain things um, with some of the parents and um, I won't like say another character, but I'm not gonna say like who it was because that's just gonna give it away. And also the ending, what? Like, huh? Like, I'm so confused. We get to the end and we hear this like, okay, like cool, things are wrapped up. And then we get to the ending of the last page and I'm just like, huh? Like, it would have been, like, cool to, like, okay, leave it with that. I'm not saying what it is, because I just can't. So this is so hard to, like, beat around the bush. But she leaves something at the end of the book, and it's, like, word of advice. And then there's, like, a word of advice. And I'm, like, so is there, like, a part two? Like, what? Like, what? Okay. Like, confused. Like, I'm lost. They put something at the end that just really threw me off. Like, I really just, I was really lost. And so, I don't know what their plan is. I, from what I know, there's not a second part to this. And so, that I don't really understand. Like, I'm a little, little lost. Um, I really liked the setting. I liked that it was an, on an island. Honestly, anything, like, a beach rom-com, a beach thriller, a beach horror, um beach sci-fi even like I can get down with it I don't know something about the ocean and like setting and things like that just like draw me in and so um I really did like the setting um this like little resort um it did suck that I figured out the plot though ugh I hate that I figured it out I'm not even smart like I don't even know like so I don't know you probably could figure it out too if you read and put all the clues together you're just you know, like it's, you know, like you, you know it's about to happen and then it does and it's like, okay, peace out. And I'm like, oh, you know? And so I did read a lot of reviews on this and a lot of people had similar views where they just said like the ending kind of left them a little unsatisfied. Um, so I think that's just kind of what happened here. But also like, I didn't like, I feel like I'm saying so many bad things about it, but I actually still liked it. Like, I still, like, enjoyed the book. Like, I wouldn't reread because, mm, I w if I, if come to desperate measures, I would reread. Uh, but not because I'm like, oh, like, I guess I'll read that one again. Like, if I had nothing else, like, okay, like, yeah, I'll reread it. But, um, is it just me or do you guys like the books, like, better without these, like, covers on like card covers like this just like nice red book with like the little spine on it like I just like it it's like sleek like I did the same with the Atlas 6 I took the cover off and I just like have the book I don't know that's just how I feel but I'm gonna put it back in for you guys so you know what book I'm talking about anyway um I did like this book I know I said a lot of bad like parts about it that I didn't like but Honestly, like it was, it was like interesting. I still was on the edge of my seat, just like wanting to see how these characters unfolded. I really, really liked, there were some characters who just like, I don't wanna say that I liked them because they were good, because then I don't wanna give anything away. But there were characters I just like really got to know better and I really liked like um, Archer, Aubrey. Um, I started to like, Millie and Jonah for sure. Um, I still was like rooting for them, but they just, they were a little more on the annoying side. <laughs> um, I think I also am a lot like Aubrey though. So I just like was relating to her. And then when she didn't get the nice ending, I was just like, what even? Like, what is this? Like, what? And so, oh, okay. I got to say this, I got to say this. 
All right, if you don't want a spoiler, just skip past what I'm about to say because I just feel like someone needs to say it. Someone's gotta say it. And if someone has to agree with me, if you've read this, don't tell me you didn't agree with me. I'm about to say some spoilers. If you don't want this, just skip, just skip, okay? I probably won't have anything else important to say. So honestly, you can just end the video. Good to see you, peace out. All right, I gotta say it, someone has to. What is it with this Thomas plot? She gets to, so she's with Thomas, and then all of a sudden, like, she leaves Thomas. Okay, we get it, like, whatever, like, and then she's like, oh, my cousin's so beautiful. She's the most beautiful, like, Millie. She's talking about Millie. And she's just, like, so insecure around Millie, and then, like, she doesn't even get someone who loves her at the end. Her dad freaking is an idiot. Her dad leaves. Well, she leaves her dad because he's knocked up her swim coach. And then, she, you know, cheated on her mom and everything. And then she doesn't even, she doesn't even get, like, someone who appreciates her beauty. Millie, go, Millie and Jonah get together. And then, because Jonah's not actually the cousin, spoiler, he was replacing the real Jonah because he needed to go to science camp. And then Uncle Anders was a freak. Even though I was, like, weirdly rooting for him, I don't know why. I was just, like, trying to figure it out. I was like, is he actually going to be a good guy? No, he wasn't, but I was just like, man, like, I was kind of waiting for you to turn a leaf, and I just think I didn't get it, and I was just like, oh, there's still hope, and there's not. It's a book. But what? Like, Aubrey, really? Like, she doesn't even get a good ending. Like, she's like, oh, my cousin's so beautiful. And her point's just being proved. Like, Jonah picks Millie. Everyone's like, oh, Millie, 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 Millie. Millie's so pretty. Millie, yeah. Sure, Aubrey does some great things. Like, Aubrey's kind of like the hero of the story, I think. Her and Archer, I think, are the heroes of the story in a way. And Millie and Jonah are just kind of like along for the ride. And I, they contribute for sure. But just like, there was a power, power dynamic between the two. But she, she's like insecure about how she looks and like her beauty. And no one even recognizes it. She's just like, aw. Yeah, Millie's so hot. <laughs> like, what? What? And then, yeah, her dad's a fruitcake. And then... She just has to live with that. And Thomas doesn't care. Thomas left. Screw Thomas. I don't... Guys, I'm just... I'm a, li I'm a little... I'm a little... On edge for Aubrey. Ugh. She didn't get a good ending, bro. She just, like, was like, yeah, sucks. I'm gonna live with my mom. I got this new baby who I actually didn't ask for, but uh, she's cute and all. Um, yeah, no one loves me. <laughs> my mom, I guess. But my dad is a scumbag, and Thomas left me, and actually no one thinks I'm pretty. Like, what? Like, I don't know. That sucked. I would have liked to see her, like, find someone who was like, who looked at her instead of Millie, the product of beauty. Ugh. Sorry guys, I'm getting heated because I think she deserved better. Comment below, justice for Aubrey, right? Justice for mother frickin' Aubrey. You guys thought I was gonna swear? I don't swear. Check yourself. Yep, now I'm gonna go read the Atlas Six. I gotta get, I gotta get this Aubrey dynamic out of my head. Why the freak would you not give her a good ending, Karen? What is wrong with you? Sorry. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna go blow off some steam. Um, I will see you guys soon for sure. It's spring break, so I would like to film another video or two while I'm here. Um, possibly another book reviews. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Maybe something else fun, but I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Peace out.